The summer of 86, Kerr was named to Team USA and played in the World Championships in Spain. Today in Cooperstown, four former major leaguers received baseball's greatest honor and joined the game's most elite fraternity, the National Hall of Fame. It's a given the Missouri men's basketball team is not headed to the NCAA tournament this year. The Tigers need to focus on improving going into next season and picking up a few wins along the way. It's been a grueling month for the Missouri football team, but last night the Tigers scored a touchdown for the first time in over a month. Mark and his family moved out to Tucson in 2011, where he works as an Army instructor at Fort Huachuca. A day after announcing his new offensive coordinator, Barry Odom shifted to the other side of the ball today. In what has been a long week, to say the least, on the University of Missouri campus, the men's basketball team has a chance to find a silver lining and snap a season-long five-game losing streak. Nate West started training in MMA after a friend took him to the gym for a fun workout. West immediately took to the sport. I love the sport. He isn't the typical MMA fighter in a sport that requires constant use of your arms to strike on the offensive and protect on the defensive. He's limb different, born without an elbow or forearm on his left side. West uses his differences to his advantage and finds that it's his will to succeed that makes him just as dangerous as anyone else in the ring. You're just going to have to be bigger, faster, stronger because you may not have the grip that somebody's going to have. His training partner, Will Stark, says it's his limb difference that makes him a better fighter. It provides him with this, this incredible intrinsic motivation you know, and this desire to be very meticulous with every single area of the sport that he's doing. West is now 3-0 and in his MMA career, but it hasn't always been easy. In my middle school formative years, I had a really bad coach that did not want to work with me. Nate doesn't just train to knock out his own opponent. He's a counselor at a camp where he teaches other limb different children how to play sports. Nubability is a camp offered annually, focusing on multiple sports. We want to give kids the physical ability to, to compete, but it's also a confidence thing. Kids, he says, will one day change the world. They're going to shock the world, every last one of them, whether it be in sports or not. Wes says he strives to be a role model for all the kids he meets at Nubability. I want to make a kid know that they're a champion. Kaylee Peterson, KOMU 8 News, Columbia. I'm Kaylee Peterson, and that's sports.